Hello and welcome to another dollar painting video on my channel. This is a pink flower fairy. So I'm gonna start off by cutting all, off her hair. I really like the color but the hair was disgusting. It was full of glue and um, so I decided to cut it all off and I'm gonna cut it as close to the scalp as possible because this is gonna help me get all the hair plugs out easier. I'm gonna dip her into hot water so I can pull the head off easier without breaking. I said easier, but it's not really coming off easy. So I'm gonna get tweezers and I'm gonna start circling them around, pulling the hair plugs out. Then I'm removing the factory paint with pure acetone. And I'm squishing and mushing the head around just to get into those little cracks and get all the paint out. Then I'm trying to remove the smoke from her legs and I'm using acetone free nail polish remover but it didn't do the job so I went to the acetone one praying it won't destroy the plastic. So I reroute it and I created this rerouting tool by myself using um, an X-Acto knife. Then I'm gonna put some liquid glue in there to make the hair permanent and so it doesn't come out. And I'm squishing the head just to get it evenly everywhere. Then I'm choosing my pastels and I went for some fuchsias and some pinks. I'm just gonna highlight now underneath her eyes with a little bit of white. And I've already added three layers of Mr. Super Clear to give me that paper-like texture so the pastels will stick on her. Removing all the excess with a fluffy brush. And I'm just gonna start blushing with the pink. And there's a lot of back and forth. And every time I want to intensify the colors, I add one more layer of Mr. Super Clear. And I'm going in for the eyes. I got a pale lilac color just to uh, mark out the eyes. And um, if I make any mistakes, it's much easier to erase than black. So I'm just creating my eye shape until I'm happy with it. I don't know what I did here with the, I kept, I think, blocking the light, but I felt so bad for not posting this video. I drew the irises and as for the lips, I'm painting them with pastel and now creating the depth and giving her a nice smile. So I'm pulling the line upwards so she looks like she's smiling and she's happy. And also adding a little bit of pastel for a nice gradient and to soften the lines from the pencil. Creating extra shades with that purple. And this is where I seriously messed up with the lights. Um, I added another layer of Mr. Super Clear and now I'm going out on the eyes with the black color. creating some bottom lashes and as for the top ones I will be gluing some on later on. For her eye color I decided to go for green so I'm just slowly slowly building up the color uh, giving it dimension intensifying and blending creating the pupil now and going in with the sclera with the white. As for the eyebrows, I'm matching them with her hair and I'm adding pink, creating small little lines and intensifying the color with a little bit of purple, making some white hairs in there just to give them separation basically. And I'm adding some micro glitter underneath her eyebrows and her cheekbones. 
adding the highlights in the eyes with some acrylic white paint and I'm also highlighting in the tear duct just to give it a little bit of more of a realistic look glossing her lips and the eyes after the acrylic paint has dried and I think I did two layers so I let it dry and I added another layer on top so here I'm just gonna add the eyelashes and for this doll I chose some very small ones very discreet ones usually I like the dramatic ones but I don't know this one she I wanted her to be more innocent and cute so I'm gonna hit, let her hair out now that she's finished and I took us the tiniest drill a uh, bit that I could find and I made four holes on her back I could not figure out how to make the drill work but this way it worked and I had more control as well and I wasn't afraid that I would destroy the doll I made four um, holes and this is where her wings are gonna go in I took Angelina film I sketched out the wings how I wanted them to look by using the doll just to get the proportions right and this is gonna help me get the wings kind of matching so I'm going to take wire now and start creating them this took me forever I could not figure it out it drove me crazy I think it took me more hours to make the wings than anything else on this doll I need to practice more with the wings so at the end I kind of folded it and made it double and this is gonna fit in the little holes in the back as you can see here and so they can get attached and reattached without having to tie them or glue them on so I'm cutting them a little bit to proportion because they were a little bit too big so here you see she it's just in the hole I'm just gonna pull it out now and I am going to add the Angelina film. I did one layer underneath and one on top. And I did it with the hair straighteners this time. And it came out much better. Because last time that I tried it with the iron, it kind of fogged it a little bit. So I'm going to cut off the excess. And then I'm going to seal the edges with... Uh, a candle be very careful with this and I tried to make them a little bit uneven I didn't want them to have a perfect shape and I pierced some holes on the bottom wings which I'm not too crazy about uh, so I'm going on the big wings now and uh, here you can see that I did them a little bit uneven and I really like the So testing them out just to see if they fit nice and I took a fabric flower and this is how I'm gonna create her dress and this is major inspiration from Podley's doll you can find them on Instagram they make the most amazing fairies and sprites and uh, their work is amazing so I'm just gonna glue it on using a hot glue gun and I'm just building it slowly slowly I made the top dress and the skirt I made it a little bit poofy now that the dress is done I'm just gonna put the head back on and I braided her hair off camera it was just a, a test and I really liked it I'm gonna add some pink flowers in her hair uh, the flower that I just added, I ended up moving and putting it over the hair tie so you won't be able to see it. And I was just testing if I wanted to put a belt and then I decided not to. I'm just going to put the wings back on. And she's done but she is missing something I felt that she needed some sparkle so I took some liquidus gloss varnish I put some micro glitter in there and some normal glitter I blended it and I'm gonna go on the dress and also her hands and feet but the dress kind of stained 
as you can see there so what I did once it dried I mixed another batch and I mixed it with water and it made it all fade away and it has disappeared and this is the final doll I hope you like her and I will have my Instagram account underneath so you can follow me thank you for watching